a votary of truth. Dr. G. Venkata Subbaya. He is aged 106 years old and he is a renowned Kannada writer and lexicographer. He has won Kannada Sahitya Academy Award and Pampa Award. This renowned scholar was a student of Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri in Maharaja's College during 1933 to 1936. In this episode of the Otary of Truth, he reminisces about Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri. Cheritre Nudu Mukeva the Vishagir Lila. Optional subject and the Karita the Hindi Mukeva the Vishan Bitu in Yerudu optional subjects to Avakait. Ancient history, Indian history, ancient Ade Mukeva the Du, other Joteke the Din and the Altare Tamilu. Atwa Telugu, Atwa Malayalu, one Bhashe, one Vere Bhashe Kalibuko, ancient Indian history Kalibuko. Namataragati Alige M. H. Krishna, our professor of ancient history. Our Bandhu won the more period of Indian, ancient Indian history. We take a good tag, help you to make the new shot till so the key. Yes, she can shot in the research scholar with the rain. You are lucky to have him. Adrinda, our head then a poor mother condo with the Tampa de Marcoli in the helmet. Our hot over one thing glad me ever one than another. Nam Taragati Libre, the article is done. Nano, HM Shankar Narayan Rao, Hebrew, Canada Honor Students. Now, a part of our Kavu Mandru, Dodrumu, on the Meja Matu Kuchi Etro, the Peter, delegated in our son, I will venture, desk it, Ali Patamaloka. Mother, our part of Gundaga. Now, ye as to our our notary, our Anta Vidwam Surunta can't handle it. I've got that land. We were disappointed and they held both. Then you reached Jenna Helter Lanta. Amelando and Martin and Stogondo, our Amelinda, our Patamaduk Shuruma de Mele, our Bashe, Matu Bashe and the Riti. You go to my Pamukova. Never asked you to. Now, Nero Tilkundi, he held that in the our male our pretty good title. Other now our Prashne were there. Our case saddle. Our supercuity to Nakanate. Our problem the lepapa. Now, when Prashne Kelre, Sapa Munde, Buggy. Yen Henry and the Kadoro. No, sir, repeat Madaga, or Sidney Kutayat. Please listen to what I say here, tell you to Avichara and Starva Hero. Yellow Vishal and Kudavar with Starva, it is ancient history and Reno. History and Nudu, art salado, history and Nudu. 
ಅದು ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಇಟ್ ಏನು ಅಂದರೆ ಮಾನವನ ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆಯೊಳಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಲೆಗಳಿವೆಯಲ್ಲ ನಾಟ್ಯ ಸಂಗೀತ ಶಿಲ್ಪ ಇಂಥ ಸಿಗಲ್ಲ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬೆಳೆಯುತ್ತಾ ಬಂದಾಗ ಅವೆಲ್ಲವೂ ಕೂಡ ಹೇಗೆ ಸುಲಭ ಪಡೆದವು ಅದರಿಂದ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಹೇಗೆ ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಆದ ಅಂತ ತಿಳಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆ ಆದ ಕಥೆಯನ್ನು ಹೇಳುವುದು ಚರಿತ್ರೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ನೀವು ಈ ಚರಿತ್ರೆ ಎನ್ನುವುದನ್ನ ಯುದ್ಧ ಮತ್ತು ತಾರೀಕು ಯುದ್ಧ ಮಾಡಿದ ಹೆಸರು ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅದರ ಬದಲು ತಿಳ್ಕೊಬೇಕಂತ ಈ ಕಲೆಗಳಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಈ ಕಲೆಗಳು ಹೇಗೆ ಬೆಳೆದವು ಮಾನವ ಹೇಗೆ ಬೆಳೆದ ಮಾನವ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿತ್ವ ಹೇಗೆ ವ್ಯತ್ಯಾಸ ಇರೋದು ತಿಳ್ಕೊಬೇಕು ನೀವು ಅಂತ ಮೊದಲನೇ ಸಲ ನಮಗೆ ಹೊಸ ವಿಚಾರವನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಸಿದವರು ಶ್ರೀಕಂಠ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿಗಳು ಇದನ್ನು ಇನ್ನು ಹಿಂದೆ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತವ್ರೆ ಯಾರು ಈ ಮಾತು ಹೇಳಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅವರು ಬರೀತ ನಮ್ಮೂರೇ ಜನ ಈ ಬ್ರಿದ್ದವರು ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬರು ಹೊಸಬರು ಕೂಡ ಬಂದು ಸೇರಿಕೊಂಡ್ರು ಜೂನಿಯರ್ ಆಗಿ ಅವರನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮ ಜೊತೆ ಸೇರಿಸಿ ಮೂರು ಜನಕ್ಕೆ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ರು ಒಂದೇ ಪಾಠ ಎರಡು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಸಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಸೇರಿಸಿ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಭಟ್ಟ ಅಂತ ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಮೂರು ಜನ ನಾವಿದ್ದರು ವಿಷಯವನ್ನು ವಿವರಿಸಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ನೋಟ್ ಕೊಡೋರು ಆ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ನೋಟ್ ತುಂಬ ವಿಶುದ್ಧವಾಗಿರ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ನಾವು ಸುಮಾರು ಅರ್ಧ ಗಂಟೆ ಬರ್ಕೋತಾ ಇದ್ದರು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇನ್ನು ಅರ್ಧ ಗಂಟೆ ಅವರು ವಿವರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದರು ಅವರು ಏನು ಬರೆಸಿದ್ರು ಅದು ವಿವರಣೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇಡ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ನಮಗೆ ಪಾ ಪ್ರಾಚೀನ ಚರಿತ್ರೆ ವಿಚಾರ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ತಿಳುವಳಿಕೆ ಬಂದದ್ದು ಆವಾಗಲೇ ಅನೇಕ ಸಂದರ್ಭಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಒಬ್ಬೊಬ್ಬರನ್ನ ಕುರಿತು ಕೂಡ ನಿಮಗೆ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಆ ಬಡ ಬರೆದದನ್ನು ನೋಡಿ ಅದರ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ತಪ್ಪನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಹೈಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ತಿಳಿತಾರಲ್ಲ ಅಷ್ಟು ಮಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ತಪ್ಪನ್ನು ಬರೆದು ಇದು ಹೀಗಿರಬೇಕು ಇದು ಹೀಗಿರಬೇಕು ಇದು ಹೀಗಿರಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಮೂರು ಜನಕ್ಕೂ ತಿಳಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದರು ಅದರಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಭಾಷೆ ಕೂಡ ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಆಯಿತು ನಮಗೆ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಉತ್ತರ ಬರೆಯೋದು ಹೇಗೆ ಅಂತ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟವಾಗಿ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯಿತು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಆದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಅಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಶಿಪ್ ಸಿಗಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಲಿಲ್ಲ ಬಹುಶಃ ಈ ಕಿವುಡಿನ ಪರಿಣಾಮವು ಏನು ಅವರ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಬೇಗ ಮೇಲಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅವ ತುಂಬ ಕಷ್ಟ ಆಯಿತು ನಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ಯೋ ಯೋಚನೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಇವರು ಯಾಕೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಬರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಏನು ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ನಾವು ಎಮ್ ಎ ಮಾಡೋ ಹೊತ್ತಿಗೆ ಆ ವೇಳೆಗೆ ಅವರು ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದರು ನಾಗರಾಜ್ ಅದು ಟೆಂಪ್ರರಿ ಆಗಿ ಆಮೇಲಿಂದ ಬೆಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋದರು ಎಮ್ ಎ ಮಾಡಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಎಮ್ ಎ ತರಗತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ಷಂಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಬರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಆ ಭಾಗಕ್ಕೆ ಅವರ ಮನೆಗೆ ಹೋದರೆ ಅವರ ವಿಸ್ತಾರವಾದ ವಿವರಗಳನ್ನ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಮಗೆ ಹೇಳಿ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಗಂಗರ ಚರಿತ್ರೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಗೆ ಶಾಸನಗಳನ್ನ ತಿತ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ತಿದ್ದಿದ ಶಾಸನಗಳು ಹೇಗೆ ಇತ್ತು ಎಲ್ಲರ ಕದಂಬರಿಯಿಂದ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಚಾಲುಕ್ಯರು ಕದಂಬರು ಎಲ್ಲನೂ ಹೇಳಿಕೊಟ್ರು ಎಮ್ ಎ ಆದಮೇಲೆ ಚರಿತ್ರೆ ವಿಚಾರ ಬೇಕಾ ಇದೆ ಅವರ ಹತ್ರ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಹೇಳುವುದು ಇದಾಗಿತ್ತು ಮನೇಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಅವರು ತುಂಬ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸದಿಂದ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯಿಂದ ನಾವು ಅವ್ರ ನೇರವಾಗಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಅಲ್ಲದೆ ಹೋದರೂ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯಿಂದ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದರು ಮೈಸೂರು ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾನಿಲಯದ ಅಧ್ಯಾಪಕರ ಗುಂಪಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಶ್ರೀಕಂಠಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿಗಳ ಹೆಸರು ಶಾಶ್ವತವಾಗಿ ನಿಂತಿತ್ತು ಅವರು ಯಾರವರು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಾಗಿ ಕೆಳಗೆ ಬಂದರೂ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯಿಂದ ಗೌರವದಿಂದ ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಅವರು ತುಂಬ ವಿದ
ಆಸ್ಥಾನ ವಿದ್ವಾಂಸರು ಅವರ ಗುಂಪು ಸೇರಿದವರು ಆ ಮಂತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಳೆದು ಬಂದವರು ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ವಿದ್ಯಾಭ್ಯಾಸವನ್ನು ತುಂಬ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಮಾಡಿದರು ನಮ್ಮ ತರಗತಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಚರಿತ್ರೆ ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಆಗಿಂದಾಗ ಅವರು ಶಂಕರರ ಅದ್ವೈತ ವಿಚಾರವನ್ನು ಪ್ರಾಸಂಗಿಕವಾಗಿ ತಿಳಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದರು ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಾವೇ ಅದನ್ನೇನು ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದರೆ ಶಂಕರರ ವಿಚಾರ ಶಂಕರರ ಜೀವನ ಚರಿತ್ರೆಯನ್ನು ನಮಗೆ ಬೋಧನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದರು ನಮ್ಮ ಚರಿತ್ರೆಯ ವಿಷಯನ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಆ ವಿಚಾರ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದರು ನಮಗೆ ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಇವರು ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಇಷ್ಟು ಅಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಗೊತ್ತೇ ಇರಲಿಲ್ವಲ್ಲ ನಾ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಾಗಿದ್ದಾಗ ಅನ್ನೋ ಹಾಗೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಿ ಶೇಖಾಲಿ ಎ ನಾನ್ ಎಜೇರಿಯನ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟೋರಿಯನ್ and author of several books was a student of dr s shri kanta shastri between 1940 45 and later a colleague in the department of history he earned two phd's one from aligar muslim university and another phd from university of london on tipu sultan and hyder ali He was vice chancellor of Mangalore University and Goa University. He is also known for his oratorial skills. I am very proud of the fact that I was a student of the great professor Professor Sri Kanta Shastri. Those were very good old days. We can't imagine the depth of knowledge he had. Immense and the last college was called history college it was proud of the fact that it had a galaxy of great scholars like denham sir reddy venkateswar lu dr m s krishna he belonged to that batch and then for nearly 4 years i happened to be his student is from 1942 to 1946 what is very great in it professor sri kant shastri was that in those colonial days importance was given not only to british history uh, greek history uh, roman history uh, european history but not to indian history and much less to carnatic history he was the first professor to think of carnatic history and bring out the sources of carnatic history which was published by mysore university immensely i would say that no one could excel in professor shikanti shastri on carnatic history ancient history culture language philosophy every aspect he has thrown he was the one who told us that karnataka has contributed much much to the indian culture in the realm in, in the realm of art architecture literature religion philosophy even to music all lovers of beauty run rush to the places like belur halevi and so on as to patrakal badami highway the largest statue is to be found in shravan bengola the biggest statue the biggest dome is there in bijapur in the art and architecture karnataka excel these facts have not been brought to the notice at all karnataka is a country where very rich in the lithic record Louis Reyes, within 10 years, collected as many as 40,000 inscriptions. <coughs> A detailed study of those inscriptions was necessary, and Professor Shikhan Shasi. His volumes and volumes, I am very glad that a lot has been done, done of the great erudite scholar, Professor Shikhan Shasi. he was one who injected in us into our mind and our consciousness the greatness of our culture he said remember india stands for the code of purest morality and the system is philosophy but the difficulty was these invaluable treasures were all hidden in the archives of the state libraries and they would yield the truth only to the earnest student 
He was the honest student who peeped into the treasure, the archive, libraries of the past, and bring out a lot and lot on the history. Our history has got great culture and it stands for certain features. Those features are very relevant even the present constant. India stands for humanism. Humanism is the assertion of human dignity, the sentiment of the unity of man, the respect for the man's talent, faith, belief and strength. Therefore, humanism and Professor Shastri also is to instill in our mind, look here, there is no country, no country in the whole world has got 5,000 years of history. 3,000 years before Jesus Christ was born, there was Indus Valley culture. And you go to that culture, the import was sent from Karnataka. The oldest part in the whole world is in Karnataka. There were so many faiths, whether it is Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, Christianity, Islam. And then the, inti- the meaning of these cultures has produced way with humanistic culture. History is to be remembered because not for wars, conquest, battles and so on and so forth. It is the mind, it is the intellect, it is the movement, it is the idea. The doctrine of ideas and ideas determines events are just close in the body. Mind is history. He would say that history is the vital magistrate that passes the final decree. A nation that forgets the past will have no future at all. It is the experience of the past. It is philosophy in liquid. Philosophy in liquid. I would give you an example that a person called Thucydides wrote history and then after 30 years of Peloponnesian war he summed up the philosophy of those wars. <coughs> Nemesis over the fortune. Nemesis over takes good fortune. No man is always fortunate. No man is always fortunate. Love of fame or lure to destruction. Love of fame. Man is after name and fame and glory. That will lure, that will lure to destruction. Then he said that revenge is the free. Is never, never sacred. Even although it's not even not your history also tells us that no brave man wants war. Political injustice is worse than crime. We did not look even to the efficient factor, we to go to the appreciative factor in our understanding essence of history. Therefore, ideas, desires and emotions, when they are all harmonized, cosmos take place. Professor Shastri would say that if ideas and desires and emotions are disharmony, chaos would take place. A plane would be phone philosophy, it was a kind of music to listen to Professor Shastri all along. When I was a student, the subject, special subject was Harsha Vardhana. He said that Harshavardhana was the man who wrote a good part of the current South India, but Pulikesh II defeated Harshavardhana. But again, you do an example that how tolerant Karnataka was. Pulikesh II himself was defeated at the end of the Pallavas Nasimavardhana. He sent Vikramaditya of course to Panditi and then defeat Narasimhavaran. But the only he does is he brings architects, not wealth, not gold, not jewels, not money, but he brings only the architects from the Pallavas, Kanchipuram and then the rock cut temples of Badami, Pattat Kalina, whatever. And then having built those rock cut temples, one was dedicated to Jainism, another was dedicated to Buddhism, and then the rest to Hinduism. Look at the talents you gave me every time. You would give another example, look here, Ramanujam, Ramanujam was not tolerated in Tamil Nadu, he had to go all the way to the Vaisala kingdom, 
and it was Vishnu or the Navigator Shankara and Vira Shaivism flesh a new philosophy, Shankara philosophy, Mahatma philosophy, Ramanga philosophy, again Prasad Shastri would tell us that in the medieval period there was a movement called Bhakti movement. That Bhakti movement leveled down the barriers of caste and creed and class and took the stand on the bedrock of humanity. Where are those things now? Therefore, you would say that remember you inherit the code of purest morality and the system of highest philosophy. But they are all locked up in the archives of the ancient libraries. One has to go and keep into it and do research. This requires hard work, but in the midnight all right, it is concentration, it is a youth will. And then only you could do something very positive. All his time, is a wonder how the mass was, so much of mass would turn out. So it is kind of a miracle. He was unique in his own way, unique in a way. He would say that only extraordinary thing, the experience of man, the constructing, the reviving and reconstructing the part of all his quick philosophy. Then he would also say that it is geographical factor, the sociological factor, the political factor, the philosophical factors, they are all very important for knowing history, the doctrine of ideas. Ideas, ideas and dreams, these are the only thing they do not perish. Therefore, the material thing do not happen. India is a country which has given a very rich culture, very great culture. So I am very happy that a lot of work and his son particularly, I congratulate his son Professor Nagindath. We are partaking so much of it. We are proud of fact that the in his gene, the father's gene has entered into the soul of his son. He is taking a lot of interest in propagating, in profusing and disseminating the research work of Professor Shastri. I can tell that his son as well for the great work he is doing. And you can even say his grandson also has inherited. He has been contributing articles to Star of Mysore now. Yeah. And uh, he has so, written on this. Yes, I was Star of Mysore by the Oh, sir. Thank you. You spoke so wonderfully. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great pleasure, sir. Yeah.